hello guys how are we doing today welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video i want to believe you're doing good i want to believe you're doing great in this video we're going to be doing an analysis of gbp jpy and what to expect from the market this week if you're just coming across our channel you're just coming across our videos i want to say welcome it's good to have you what you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos now before we get into the business of this video i want to say a big congratulations to those who took the trade based on our last analysis you must have made some good amount of money you must have made 300 to 500 pips depending on where you entered this trade last week when we did our analysis gbp jpy was here and we did say that it's going to buy a bit then it starts selling so the market bought on monday tuesday then on wednesday it sold here and on thursday there was a news on jpy and um i think that was about 9 a.m if i'm not mistaken that's nigerian time then um there was lot of noise in the market of course so that's why i say depending on the time you were able to enter the trade those who were able to enter around this region must have made about 500 pips if they were able to hold till tp2 you can see this was our tp1 this was tp2 and the market moved all the way down to tp2 so if you took the trade i want to say a big congratulations to you now let's um get into the business of this video let's start the analysis on the monthly time frame on the monthly time frame you can remember last um, last week i did tell us okay let me take off this horizontal line we've achieved our tp so we don't need them for today's analysis good now i remember telling us that gbp jpy has gotten to the overbought region you can see it here the monthly time frame we can see that it has gone to the overbought region we can see um rejection that's bearish rejection and we can also see that this is a resistance region where it's currently at is a resistance region so we've been expecting the market to sell for i think the past three months yes yeah, since july we've been expecting the markets to sell quite significantly but it never did that until last week although it was selling at some point buying at some point but this huge move happened last week so we can see that the market has made quite a significant sell and um, this is the last week of the month of september and we can see that the market has sold till below the 10 day simple moving average on the monthly time frame and we can see that the 10 day simple moving average is about to cross over the candlestick here which is a bearish entry trigger the candlestick is still in session you know this is the monthly time frame so it has not ended so i'm just saying the things i've just said is just based on what has happened so within this week there is a possibility that something more or something less could happen in the market now let's also consider the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame i did remember telling us two weeks ago the market made a shooting star which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern we can see that the market has ranged around here for quite a while i mean i remember telling us um those who have been following my channel i told us that um the market has this behavior of ranging around one region for quite a long time then when that happens many people lose interest in that particular asset or um commodity then when you least expect you see a very huge move so i told us that if you are um you have gbp jpy in your watch list you should not take it off you should not take off your focus or your um your attention from it because when it's going to happen you're going to least expect it so you can see that actually played out so last two weeks ago we had a shooting stand i told i told us that the market is going to sell quite significantly um last week and we could see 
that that's exactly what happened so we can see this huge bearish candle and of course it even came to this um this region that was a resistance it is now a support so we could see that what happened within last week was quite huge then let's also consider the daily time frame on the daily time frame we can see that the market has been selling till right now it has gotten to the oversold region so um like we used to say when the market gets to the oversold region you should expect the or you start looking out for possibilities to go bullish or you start looking out for buying opportunities let's also consider the four hours time frame on the four hours time frame you can see that the market sold quite significantly then it has gotten to the oversold region it's you can see here it's way below the oversold region and what all of this proposes is that there's chances that we should start looking out for buying opportunities now what do we expect from the market this week that's what this video is about now the four hours time frame and the daily time frame have gotten to the oversold region and i said we should start looking out for buying opportunities when things like that occurs but looking at the four hours time frame and the daily time frame we've not seen any bullish reversal candlestick pattern for that reason when the market opens we're not going to take a buy immediately we're going to observe the market to see until we see a bullish reversal candlestick pattern now you should understand that number one the market has made quite a significant bearish move that's quite huge that's one two it has gotten to this resistance region which will turn support so um when that occurs we should know that there's going to be buying pressure around this region waiting to push the market back up but so if you want to take a sell you will not be doing the right thing so i'm saying that we'll have to wait to see a bullish reversal candlestick pattern on the four hours time frame then we can go bullish so we're expecting the market to go bullish this week but like i said you are not going to take the trade immediately the market opens we're going to see clear signs on four hours time frame some people may want to wait till they see clear signs on the daily time frame before they go bullish and i expect that bullish move to take till this this support region which will now turn resistance and i also believe that about that region it's going to come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the daily time frame let me mark that region around here so i'm expecting the market to buy again till about this region so when it gets there's going to come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the daily time frame let's also see what will happen on the weekly time frame okay it's also likely to come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the weekly time frame around this region then when that occurs it's going to start selling again so um like i said in the last in our previous videos if you've been following us you said that we're expecting gbp jpy to sell quite significantly maybe for the next three to six months because if you look at the monthly time frame you see that it has also been buying for quite a long period of time so we're expecting this move to take quite a while it's going to sell for a pretty long time so when it's when it gets to this um when it buys again and gets to this region that we've marked it's going to start selling again then we're going to I'm going to show you how far that will go but i believe it's going to go really far really far perhaps till um this region till about this region but for now let's talk about what is within reach so this is what we're expecting from the market this week we're expecting the market to pull back before it makes another impulsive move that's on the bearish direction so if you have any question you can use the comment section if you have a different opinion, you can also use the comment section. I'll be glad to have a conversation with you. Like we always say, trading is a highly risky endeavor. You don't want to venture into trading without proper knowledge. You don't want to take this trade if you don't have proper knowledge. 
you can just watch this video for educational purpose and that will be very great for you you can learn from just watching this video but if you want to register for a complete forex training where we'll give beginners to advanced classes ebooks and lifetime mentorship check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can register for a complete forex training and if you want to subscribe for a signal service we'll give proper entry stop loss and take profit also check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for our signal service if you want to get a copy of my book trading without yes check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get a soft copy if you want the hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles tell us your location we'll tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video i hope you got value see you in the next video bye for now